Like that. So you can really kind of hear that raspy, ah, angry sound. So that might be something which is quite aggressive, which is fun every now and again. My name is Katie Woolley. I play the French horn. Um, I'm 30 years old and I'm the new principal horn of the Concertgebouw Orchestra. I started playing when I was about 10 or 11 years old. Um, I was a cornet player before that and then I saw the light move over the French horn. What I love about the horn is that it's a really similar pitch to the human voice and so it can always be like you're singing or like you're speaking and quite often we get lovely sighing motifs um, in the orchestra, it's one of my favourite things to do. Like that, when you kind of fall off notes um, in a really kind of like, oh, emotional, kind of angsty way. How did you do happy? <laughs> <laughs> or something like, something like that. This one, it's a hand hammered Alexander and um, I've had it for about six years since I lost my last one on a train. So if anyone's got it, can you please give it back? Thank you. One of the things I absolutely love about it is it feels like it really wants to play with you in a way. Um, the going from note to note, some horns you have to kind of work quite hard to make it smooth. This one, just like every time you put a valve down, it kind of goes, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, okay, I'll do that as well. So it's kind of, you can hear it's quite high there. Um, and if I was going to really think about that, I might try and think a bit deeper in my body or maybe like opening my mouth a bit more to try and give it a bit more width. Can you hear there's a bit more, a bit more undertone there? I think that's why I love practicing because you're basically just experimenting, exploring, and searching the whole time. It's not boring. Um, constantly trying to create is the most fun thing. I think maybe actually I like practicing too much, so I don't find it that stressful. The reason I applied for the position here is because just as I left my other job, because I wasn't really enjoying playing anymore, I'm not sure if I'm going to carry on. I'm just going to give it a break and see how I feel. And then I got the invitation to come as an extra. And it was the first time when I came here, the first time I had loved playing in absolutely years. So being back here or being here made me fall in love with the horn again, um, fall in love with being a musician again. So I thought I'd apply and see what happened. Always work with the fun side of things. If you're enjoying it, if you're happy, that is the main thing. That is absolutely the main thing. And if you want to become the best you can, don't compare yourself to others. Keep on enjoying it. Keep on being inspired by everyone around you in positive ways and have fun. Well, the thing I love most about being in Amsterdam, especially compared to London, is its size. Um, and I love the cycling thing. And I love the strope waffles. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you say it um, and I also just love the people I like the directness of the people which I'm trying to learn how to do as well I'm actually only learning now what the true role of the horn is in the orchestra because I love the sound of the orchestra here I love the sound of the horns here so I'm looking forward to making that more part of my playing <laughs>